Hi, I'm Johannes Meyer. I work for Overducon as a trainer and consultant, and I'm going to talk now about hose pumps, and I will tell you how they work and where you can use it for. So we're going to talk about hose pumps. For that, we need a hose. And a hose is not just a hose, it's an engineered product. It's not the hose that you find around the house. It's very thick and it's very hard to squeeze it together. And this hose comes in all, or you can bend in all kinds of shapes. You can bend it in a U shape, a V shape, but also an O shape, yeah? But to make it work, you need something very strong that can squeeze that together. For that, we have a pump house. This is a pump house, and this is a pump house with rollers, but they also come with pressing shoes. In an animation, I would like to show you how this all works together. Let's take a look. Here we have the animation. In the center, we see the rotor, and the rotor is moving nicely in a rotating uh, motion. It squeezes the hose with either the pressing shoe or the roller, the hose closed, and we can see that when it comes in. And then it goes all the way to the outlet. And while it's opening back up on the outlet, it's already closing on the inlet. So it's always closed. So we will not have a backflow. So we have a positive flow from inlet to outlet in a constant motion. If you look at the right side, we see the um, hose uh, on the inside and we see also that the motion of the roller or the shoe is closing and opening. Now, this is also giving us some pulsation. Now, all this we can also very easily identify as something that we do at home, yeah? squeezing and getting liquid out. Think of your toothpaste at home. You squeeze it to get the toothpaste out. And this works exactly the same, squeezing to get the liquid out. This is all that is needed to understand what a hose pump is. Now you know the principle of the pump. Let's talk about the applications for this type of pump. And here, you know, I would like to talk a little bit more about the nature of the liquid instead of the application, but let's, let's, let's talk about a few of them. For example, viscous materials. And if we think about viscous materials, we can very easily think about, you know, for example, toothpaste. It's very thick, um, but also like honey. These, these are viscous materials. And we know from our toothpaste that it's very easy to get it out of the tube just by squeezing it. You know, we do it all the time. So this is actually exactly the same what happens in the hose pump. Now, there's, of course, more to the different fluids, for example, abrasive. And now yeah, we also know that toothpaste is abrasive, but if we think a little bit further, we can also think about like moving of cement or waste sludges, yeah? And those have very often a combination of viscosity and abrasive, uh, abrasiveness together. And the, for this, the hose pump is exactly the best pump you can think of. Now, of course, there's one more that is, for example, aggressive materials, and we think about acids. In acids, we have all kinds of different acids, uh, hydrochloric, uh, just to name one, or sulfuric acid, another one. And there's so many different ones. But for that, you have to make sure you take the right material, the right host material. This is important. But now, you have learned a little bit about the applications. You know the working. But if there is a question left, yeah, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.